Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I edit my Instagram photos on an iPhone 7. So my Instagram username is lilylike.com and this is my Instagram. I always want to have a matching feed and at the moment I have a slightly minimal but still uh, kind of blue toned uh, Instagram feed and I really like it. I think it's a little bit more original than your typical minimal feed, but it's still quite minimal um, So yeah, I really like it. Now I'm going to show you how I edit my Instagram photos If you go to my home screen, I have a folder that's called photo and video and uh, It's in Dutch by the way, and I actually only use three to four apps to edit my photos. They're not all editing apps, by the way. Fiasco to add filters and to edit my photos. I use Mosaico to plan my feed. Uh, and I use these two apps. This is the Olympus Share app and the Canon Connect app to actually download photos from my camera directly to my phone. So I actually made some pictures with my Olympus pen that I'm now going to upload on my phone. So I turn on my Olympus fan and then I click on the button here that says Wi-Fi and then it's going to connect to the internet. After this camera connected, I go to my Wi-Fi. It's connected now so I'm opening the Olympus app and then I click on import photos. So as you can see, here are all the photos that I just made and I'm going to pick out one to show you how I edit them. I picked out some photos and now it's time to turn off this camera and to start editing. So a little tip for you that I have when I'm editing my Instagram photos is to make sure your screen brightness is always on 100%. You can just change your brightness here. I always have my phone brightness on 100% because then I see everything very clearly. But uh, yeah, because I'm filming my screen now, you can't really see it if it's on 100%. So I'm just going to do it uh, on like 40 now. But when you are editing your photos always put your screen on 100% brightness I picked out two photos that I liked um, and now I'm going to see which I like better I like this one the first one better I'm not going to crop it this time because I like it when flat lays are a little bit bigger so uh, when I checked out the photo how it looks on Instagram I'm opening Fiasco cam here I have a lot of photos that are already edited some I posted some I didn't so before I'm starting with editing I like to grab a juice pack and connect it to my phone because I always edit my photos on the go I'm usually not at home I usually always uh, uh, edit my Instagram photos when I have a break during classes or lectures or when I just have a very boring lecture the battery of my phone dies so quickly so it's always nice to have a juice bag with you at the moment I'm using the Mashi juice bag and I love it I think it's great because it's very flat so it fits in most of my purses and uh, it's rose gold which is awesome I'm completely obsessed with rose gold so it's very nice and sleek um, another thing that I love about this juice pack is the fact that it has this little flap with two cords so it has one cord that you can just attach to your phone like this and the other cord is for charging your juice pack, which is super handy, so you don't have to carry other cords with you. But if you wanted to, you can also plug in cords, because it has an USB port here, and also a little button so you can see how charged it is or not, which is also very handy. So yeah, this way you can still charge your phone also with a USB cable, which is very handy that they did that as well. I'm going to give away one of these mushy juice bags, so stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to participate. Back to the editing. Before I'm fine tuning the editing of my photos, I always like to make uh, a kind of a quick edit. So what I do is I click on a pre-edited photo and then I click on copy the editing. <laughs> it's in Dutch, sorry by the way. And then I click on a photo that I want to edit and I can just copy paste it. So when I click on a photo, it's already pre-edited. 
Um, at the moment, I'm not really digging how this looks, but it's all good. It's just a start and it's nice that I already have the right filter on it or something. I'm now going to share one of my most asked questions and that's what kind of filters I use. So I have a couple of filters that I actually like. First of all, I like the A group filters and especially A4. If you follow my Supplied by Lily Instagram account, um, that's the filter that I usually use there and I think it's very nice and dreamy. But at the moment I'm using the s pack filters and mainly S2 but I also like S1 and S3. And what the S filters do is that they're really minimal filters so they really make the white stand out and I kind of tone down the colors as well. So. This time I'm going with S2. I definitely changed the intensity of the filter. At the moment I think I will go for a 10. So then I click on this little arrow and then on the second button and I'm going to start really editing the crap out of this photo. So first of all, I'm going to play with the brightness. And I think, so I decided to go for two. And the next thing that I like to do is go to saturation. What I like to do is go to saturation and I like to put this on, I think, one. So I have my saturation on one and that's just because the filter that I use really desaturates all the photos. So then I'm looking at temperature. This is one of my favorite um, editing options. I usually have it on minus one, but because this photo is already really cool toned, I'm going to put it on zero. And another one that I like is tint. I usually have it on plus one. It makes the photos a little bit pinker and I think that's very nice. And this time I'm going to put it on plus two so it's a little bit pinker. And the last thing that I sometimes like to do is add a little bit of contrast. This time I'm going to do plus one. So the next thing that I like to do is click on this round button and then on the three dots. Then I'm going to save it in my film roll, uh, but I always make sure I'm saving it on the biggest size because then the picture is the best quality. The next thing that I like to do is go to Mosaico. This is the app that I use to plan my feed. I really like this app because it pre-downloads my whole feed and I can add the photo I just edited and then I can see how it looks. Uh, at the moment, I kind of like how this uh, photo looks in my feed, but I'm not completely happy with it. But we don't have to worry about that because I always like to edit my photo a little bit in the Instagram uh, edit app as well. So now I'm heading over to Instagram and I'm adding the photo I just made. Um, and I like it to be cropped like this. So I don't use any of the fillers uh, of Instagram. I don't like them, but I do like the editing part of Instagram. So the first thing that I like to do is add a little bit of brightness. So what I then like to do is add a little bit of shadow to make a little bit more of a natural contrast. What I also did is uh, removed a little bit of the accent colors or the accent brightness because it was a very bright photo. And I added a little bit of warmth because I felt like this photo was too cool. So what I then like to do is make a screenshot of the photo. And then I'm going back to my photo app and I'm going to crop it. And I'm doing this to check if I actually like how this photo looks when it's all done and edited in the Mosaico app so I know how it will look exactly. As you can see in the Mosaico app, you can just move the pictures around that you added and also remove them. So now the photo looks like this. So now I'm done with editing the photo uh, and I like how it looks with my other photos in my feed. And it's time to add a caption uh, and also tag people if I want to tag them. So yeah, now this picture is posted and this is how it looks on my feed. I think it looks very nice. And um, yeah, that's actually how I edit my Instagram photos. That's everything that I do. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing how I edit my Instagram photos. 
on my iPhone 7 and if you did give this video a big thumbs up because I know a lot of you were waiting for a very long time on this video by the way if you're wondering what I think of my iPhone 7 if you want to see an unboxing and a first impression uh, I'll link the video in the little I right here and I'll also link it down below but before I'm going to end this video, I still have a very exciting giveaway for you guys. As I mentioned before, I'm going to give away one of these Moshi ION7 power banks for one of my lucky subscribers. And entering this giveaway is super easy. First of all, you have to be a subscriber to my channel. You can subscribe down below. Uh, also, you need to follow me on Instagram um, and my Instagram username is ladylike.com. I'll link it down below as well. And the last thing that you have to do is leave a comment down below saying that you're entering and telling me one random fact about you guys. I honestly think you're all so amazing and I would love to know a little bit more personal info about you guys. So leave me a comment down below saying that you're entering this giveaway and telling me one random fact about you and then you can win one of these rose gold power banks for your iPhone. Um, it doesn't have to be an iPhone 7 by the way. Um, I think this is just super handy as I said before. I'll link the website down below if you want to check it out. Uh, it charges my phone twice which is pretty nice um, because I'm on my phone all day long so I can definitely use a power bank that can power up my phone twice. Um, and I just think it's very cute and sleek and it's rose gold and I'm obsessed with rose gold. So I guess that's it. So uh, I don't have anything else to say. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and, and welcome to my new video of mine. This video is going to be a fall slash winter haul, but that's not the most exciting part. However, the best part of this video is the fact that I have a giveaway for you guys. I actually 